welcome Hello. to my office. So this is your office? Yes. Can we have a tour of it? Sure. Um, well, this is, I bid on this at the runway for Riley and won it. Uh, this is going to be filled with alpaca poop for someone's garden because I have alpacas and horses. I have a farm. Um, and this is my alpaca. This is a picture of my kids and all of my friends. And these are all the things people have given me. Uh, my favorite thing is the Oprah cup because I was on the Oprah Winfrey show with some students a long time ago. So, um, yeah. This oh, is my I was, office. I was going to ask what your favorite thing in here is. So can you explain about the cup a little more? Um, when I was student council sponsor at Lawrence Central, and our students were, we were doing a lot of community service projects. And back then, that wasn't really a thing. And mm -hmm. so Oprah Winfrey heard about it and picked us up in the limo when we were on the show. And uh, I got to meet Oprah and me in the green room, and it was awesome. That's super cool. Yeah. So how much time do you spend in your office? Um, I don't like being stuck in my office all day. I like to be out and about and seeing kids. So uh, it depends. If I have a lot of work, like evaluations and conferencing, then I'm in here. And then other days, I'm out and about for the whole day. Okay, so what do you do in your office? Um, usually on my computer, or I'm sitting here conferencing with parents or students or other teachers. Okay, so what do you like most about your job? Uh, that it is never the same every single day it's so different and it's crazy and awesome and it's active uh, which is even better because I'm a hyper spaz so <laughs> how long have you been at Carmel High School uh, since 1999 I started teaching in the English department so what does a regular day in your office look like uh, there is no regular day in my office obviously by all of this stuff I mean I have a bucket for alpaca poop and I've got a Yeti cooler and I've got a blow up stuffed donut. So every day, I, I, there isn't an, an average day. So what's the favorite part of your day? Um, good question. I love lunch. Um, I eat, eat in the freshman cafeteria every single day. I have a student, Ralphie, that eats uh, a lunch every single day and he uh, keeps me, uh, in fact, he asked to sit with me because he felt bad because I was sitting by myself. And so he asked to you know, sit with me to keep me company, which was so sweet and kind. And um, I get to talk with the students and staff members come down and I get to be with the kids. And so that's my favorite time. So um, what do you do on your days off? Uh, I go to my farm and I work on my farm. Okay, um, if you were a teacher, what department would you work in? If I were a teacher, I would work in the English department because <laughs> I was an English teacher. So how many students do you interact with on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, anywhere between, I would say, 50 just interactions to 200, who knows. It's, um, it depends. Uh, sometimes if someone really needs help and needs assistance and needs one-on-one -on -one care, then we'll be in here for a long period of time. Other than that, I'm out and about uh, talking and being with students. How many staff members do you interact with on a day-to-day -day basis? I would say anywhere between 20 to 60 every day. Do you want me? I can start walking this way because I'm going to go get myself chocolate. Sure. Hold on. We always have chocolate in the freshman center. And I have the ladies up there in the freshman center. They take care of me, and they're the nicest people. Everybody knows that because <laughs> their reputation is that this is the sugar shack. Not only do you get candy, everyone's really sweet and nice. So um, what's your favorite event at Carmel? Uh, I know everyone would think and would say that it would be homecoming, but it's actually not. It is um, prom. I love prom. Um, why is your, it your favorite event? Um, everybody uh, gets dressed up and it's like this rite of passage and the kids look so nice and, and handsome and beautiful and uh, it's just great to see them all come in and it's just a, it's just a really nice evening. So what year has been your favorite prom? Um, oh, my favorite prom was probably back in like 2004. We were at the convention center and at that time we had a really big budget because they had raised a lot of money. And so they did a tropical theme and there were palm trees and lights and it was just, it was an amazing setup. So going back to homecoming, what has been your favorite homecoming spirit day? Here, here's that one. There you go. Um, my favorite homecoming spirit day was dress as your favorite teacher. 
and everyone in the freshman center dressed as Mr. Rot, who had been teaching here for like 50 years, and he actually brought in all of his ties, and everyone wore one of his ties. It was fun. So would you ever want to leave the freshman center? Uh, probably not. I love uh, freshmen, first of all, that everything's new, and that they love high school, and they're just starting out, and we have a group of teachers that understand that whole dynamic and really take care of kids and it's just a really good feel. It's warm and happy. So what's your favorite place at Carmel? My favorite place? Favorite location. Favorite location. There are so many. Um, I love the commons just because everybody, it's a hustle and bustle and you can see everybody and um, it's loud and yeah, the commons. So how big do you think Carmel is in square feet? Uh, it's a million square feet under one roof. So it's actually 55 acres of land and it's 1,046,572 square feet under campus. There we go. Um, right. So what's your favorite drink at the Carmel Cafe? Uh, I love the vanilla hazelnut. So what's your favorite Just drink straight. in general? My favorite drink in general? Diet Coke. What's <laughs> your... not good for me, but I drink it all the time. What's your favorite number? Four. Who's your favorite superhero? Wonder Woman. Or... What movie makes you laugh the most? Dumb and Dumber. What movie makes you cry every time? Beaches. What food could you eat for every meal and not get tired of? Potatoes. What's your That's favorite candy? Hard. Gum. I love gum. What's one thing you can't live without? My kids. What TV show are you watching right now? Better Call Saul. If you could spend the day with a fictional character, who would it be? Um... Oh my gosh, that's a tough one. A fictional character. Mm -hmm. Superman. <laughs> if you were locked in the school with another CHS staff member for 24 hours, who would you want it to be? Um, either Mrs. McDaniel or Mrs. Cole. What's your current obsession? Oh, um, fuzzy soft sweaters. <laughs> I cannot stop buying them. So, where would you drop everything in order to move to? My farm. Do you have any Which irrational fears? Which I will, fears? one day. Mm -hmm. Do you have any irrational fears? The, uh, vomiting. Uh, it's, I, I, I can't do it. What's the book you read the most times? Uh, best Christmas pageant ever. What are your thoughts on pineapple on pizza? Gross. Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. Summer or winter? Summer. Books or movies? Movies. What's the first memory that you can remember? Uh, birthday in Florida. I was probably three or four. What's your favorite childhood pastime? Here, you didn't get a chocolate. My favorite childhood pastime uh, is playing outside in my neighborhood with all my friends. What was your first job? My first babysitting. What's the first thing you do in the morning? Uh, drink a spark as soon as I get up. <laughs> What's the last thing you do before bed? Um, check my phone. What's your go-to late night snack? Uh, Nutella and graham crackers. What's the hobby people don't know you have? <laughs> Probably my farm. I think people see me as like something else. They can't imagine me in overalls and muck boots and a hat and shoveling poop. So, how would you describe your clothing style? Eclectic. <laughs> Today, uh, this is one of our students at Carmel High School, and this is her organization. And so, uh, I was really honored and flattered that she gave me a shirt from it. Yeah. What's your biggest pet peeve? Uh, people that breathe really loud when they eat. What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? I had to break a board for Taekwondo in front of the entire school when I was in high school, and it took me f three or four tries. <laughs> so where do you see yourself in 10 years? On my farm. If you were famous? See a theme here. Yeah. <laughs> if you were famous, what would it be for? What do I want it to be for? Sure. Yeah. Okay. I would want it to be for being um, the kindest, most generous, compassionate person. Or have you ever. ever been or would you ever go parasailing? I have gone parasailing. Do you have any hidden talents? Um, I sing in a rock band. So we just performed last night. So for a charity. 
you had to describe yourself in three words, which words would you choose? Um, hopefully people would think I was funny, kind, and empathetic. What's a piece of advice you've held on to? It's not hard to be kind, so always try to be kind. Is there anything else we haven't asked you that you want viewers to know? Um, I love Carmel High School, and I love Carmel, and I feel like I'm truly blessed that I get to be here. Thank you so much. Ah.